In this busy world, there exist restaurants that stand out from the rest. The owners there are not motivated by religious beliefs or regulatory requirements, but simply a unique attitude toward wine, because in his eyes, food is a mellow flavor in its own right and doesn't need an alcohol boost. And here, too, guests will feel a unique sense of serenity. No alcohol will be sold and no BYOB will be allowed. Jeff is a regular office worker whose only hobby in life is drinking. For him, whether happy or unhappy, wine is an integral part of his life. One day, he had a dinner date with a friend. The friend, however, was called away because his boyfriend called, which upset him. A drunken Jeff walks in with a one for spicy fried rice cakes, so he broke into the Jusu restaurant in an unbiased manner. Ah, uh, eh, that particular restaurant that doesn't sell alcohol or allow guests to bring alcohol. Just in time for a restaurant break, Rex sees Jeff stiffly requesting fried rice cakes. He reminded him that such food is not served during breaks. However, the smell of alcohol on Jeff's breath as soon as he approached made Rex blush. Rex informs Jeff that the restaurant doesn't serve fried rice cakes and wants him to leave as soon as possible. However, Jeff turns his head and runs into Vic, who is returning from taking out the trash. Jeff collapsed right on top of Rex because he was so drunk that it passed out. Upon waking up, Jeff sees Rex and Vic, who explains the whole situation to him. Jeff, who had wanted to leave, was embarrassed when his stomach rumbled. Rex asks if he wants cold noodles, which surprises Vic. Jeff happily obliged and enjoyed a delicious cold noodle dish with gusto. After finishing his cold noodles, Jeff couldn't help but ask if there was any alcohol. This simple question instantly turned Rex, who was in a good mood, offended. <laughs> he bluntly asked Jeff to leave. Jeff gets kicked out, even though he thinks his boss is being unreasonable. But the cold noodles were pretty good, so he didn't dwell on it much. It's a restaurant rule that you can't bring alcohol to a juicy restaurant, but there will always be those few who don't follow the rules. She brought her own bottle of wine for Vic to open. Rex sees that Vic can handle it, so he takes it upon himself to say no. I thought it was just an episode, but this girl is an internet sensation. She put it up on the internet, named the owner of Jusu Restaurant for driving away customers. She didn't say a word about the fact that she was opening the wine. The restaurant has also gone from being busy to needing to dedicate time for meal breaks, to the point that it was not patronized even at meal times. Jeff, who enjoys drinking, is a member of the company's marketing team. The company is hosting a traditional show to lunch event, soon is looking for a chef to work with, but all were rejected for various reasons. The agent told him to find a chef to work with as soon as possible. The company gave them a case of shochu for the event. The sight of the wine made Jeff's eyes light up, and he took it on his way home to check out the Jusu restaurant. He wondered why there was no one at meal times. As he was looking around, Rex opened the door and knocked him to the ground again, spilling his drink. He tried to explain that it was something for work. But Rex slammed the door behind him with a look of disgust. Jeff was at a loss for what to say to him, still spouting off about his cold bloodedness. Rex opened the door again and came out and gave him a bag for the wine. But he gave and left without a second thought. Jeff looked at the bag and sensed that he wasn't cold to the end. At night, the friend comes over to get Jeff another drink, on the grounds that his boyfriend is breaking up with him. And he brought food. Jeff ate it and thought the chef at this restaurant could be a good person to work with. So he asked him which restaurant it was, and his friend pulled out his cell phone to show him. I can't believe it's Rex Jusu restaurant. Although he cooks well, he never gives interviews or shows his face to the public. Jeff found it difficult to go and invite him to the event, yet the program was endorsed by the leadership. So he and the agent decide to convince Rex, but this unreliable agent didn't even arrive. Jeff could only enter the restaurant alone, and he started by stating that he was here to order. Vic was about to say no, but Rex agreed again. After tasting it, Jeff took out his business card and introduced it to Rex, explaining the reason for his visit. He's not asking the restaurant to sell alcohol, and attending the event will increase its popularity. Still, Rex refused. Jeff had no choice but to explain the situation to the agent, with the intention of finding someone else. Big thought the freedom offer was pretty good. The restaurant basically doesn't have many customers now because of the smears. Their participation in the event could increase their popularity. But Rex can't stay in a crowded place because of his health. Attending the event would be tantamount to throwing him inside the crowd. So there was no way he was going. That's when Vic injures his arm lifting a load, adding to the already shaky restaurant. Vic's hand is in a cast and the restaurant will have to rest for a while. Jeff and the agent were supposed to come in and convince Rex, but flopped. But he and Rex run into each other at the fried rice cake place and order fried calamari, which is not on the menu. At the same time, Jeff hears Rex on the phone and curiously eavesdrops in the background. Vic can't find a friend to cover for him and wants to come to work in a cast, but Rex tells him to get some rest. After hanging up the phone, Rex was startled by Jeff behind him. He didn't want to talk to Jeff much, but Jeff kept talking anyway. 
Seeing him literally go cold before he went back to his seat, Jeff came back to the restaurant the next day and took pictures before he ate. He's still trying to keep convincing Rex. At that moment, there was a sudden arrival of guests, and a crowd poured in after hearing that they could dine. Rex Saturday them down, though it was difficult. Who knew they were going to order takeout for the kids, and Rex was even more embarrassed. Jeff had been paying attention, and when he heard this, he decided to help him with his takeout. After Jeff took care of the takeout, Rex's dishes were ready. It's just that when guests hear that the restaurant doesn't sell alcohol, they are incredulous. Jeff, in turn, went along and brought out the client's traditional soju for them to drink and introduced them to the dishes. Jeff kind of did him a big favor, but because of Vic's injury, Rex doesn't have the energy to do anything else and turns down Jeff's offer anyway. Jeff then offers to come to the restaurant on the weekends to help take the pressure off of him in exchange for Rex's chance to come to the office as a chef. Rex even got rid of the no drinking rule when Jeff arrived. Vic called to check on Rex, and it all sounded like he was in a good mood. After the restaurant, Jeff came over for spicy fried rice cakes. His friend wasn't available to come out, so he had to eat alone. After several bottles of wine, Rex popped into view. Surprised, Jeff stands up, then trips again. Jeff falls again, and Rex sits down calmly, not even seeing to pull him. He said he came for fried chicken. Jeff called to Rex was following himself into the store, and when he saw him getting up to leave, he greeted him to join him. After eating the two were chatting in the park, Rex looked at Jeff, who was talking about his preferences, and opened his mouth to agree to sign with their company. Although he thought Rex would say yes, Jeff was surprised to actually hear it. The next day, Rex thought about being able to see Jeff and clean himself up properly, came in to sign with the company and the agents were all handsome by him. After a smooth signing, Jeff took him to familiarize himself with the kitchen, and then he was ready to pull out. Rex had expected Jeff to cook with him and saw him leaving. He then proposed to the company's leadership that he would like to develop the menu with Jeff. All things considered, the leader agrees, but Rex's words upset Jeff. Jeff put up with it for the sake of his job. Rex knew he'd said the wrong thing and was just about to change the subject. Who knows Jeff stepped in the water and fell again, knocking over the water basin and both of them got soaked. Not caring about himself, Rex immediately went to check to see if Jeff was hurt, and luckily there were no accidents. The fall took away the awkwardness that the two had been feeling, but threw them into a different atmosphere. Once organized, they begin working on the dishes, because it's a dish that goes with shochu. That's why Jeff wanted Rex to understand the flavors of the wine, before he could better pair it with a down-home meal. Jeff agrees and decides to down a drink that night. One minute he's talking about a good Rex, the next he's straight down. Not only does he hate alcohol, he's a one-drinker. Does he hate alcohol because he can't drink it? I didn't realize that the chef de cuisine was a one-drinker, and passed right out after one glass of shochu. Jeff brought a blanket to cover him only to have Rex grab his hand and yank it in front of him. He broke away in a panic and ran to the side to calm his disturbed mind. The next day, Rex doesn't remember the incident at all and discusses the menu with Jeff, who is the only one embarrassed. On his day off, Rex got Jeff up early in the morning and drove him out. They went to a restaurant first. Rex describes it as a restaurant where even the locals come to eat with a local flavor. When the food came out, Rex took pictures before allowing Jeff to start. Then Jeff got a look on his face like something was missing. Rex took one look at him and realized he was low on biosi and offered to ask for a bottle of soju. Jeff could have fun, and Rex was content to watch. Jeff assumed that Rex was taking pictures to upload to social media programs, but he was there for the record. For easy recall, they then went to the seafood store and then to the fish market and bought a lot of ingredients for the preparation of the menu. On the way back, Jeff falls asleep in the car and wakes up to see Rex standing on the beach. He was organizing his thoughts and what had happened over the days. Jeff thought he still couldn't take the job. At the moment, Rex is looking forward to the future with great desire and anticipation. He dropped Jeff off at his doorstep, and both of them fell in love with each other. Jeff walked several meters out and turned his head to find Rex still standing in the same spot. He then walked back and asked him if he wanted a packet of instant noodles before he left. Rex ended up staying for the bubbly, which probably tasted better than the big meal he made. Jeff started kicking people out when he was done eating, but it was obvious that neither one really wanted to leave the other. Jeff dropped Rex off at the door. The ambiguous atmosphere between the two was so close to slapping me in the face through the screen. After the separation, both of them tried to send messages to each other. But in the end, the messages were not sent. After this day, Jeff changed his name to Brother Rex. Rex developed the menu for Jeff to try. Although the food was delicious, Jeff always felt that something was missing. Or maybe a little more reinforcement of one of those parts would be better. So they decided to ask their friends to try the food. Vic was the first to arrive. Then the agent and Will both arrived. Jeff and Will were both in their customary snotty mood, and Rex was sore in the flesh. Everyone thought the new dish was delicious and Vic asked the questions. 
One is that traditional food doesn't go well with cutlery, and the other is that it feels like a pain in the ass to have to pick at fish bones to drink. He said as he chucked the de-stemmed meat to the agent, and the other three looked on in bewilderment. After it's over Vic sends the agent home, and will gets kicked out by Chia. He wants to help Rex get organized before he leaves, but Rex wants him to go back and rest. Jeff knows that Rex still cares about that little deficiency in the menu. He reassures Rex that he will be fine, and then fondly plans to leave. Rex called out to him anyway, and the two of them cleaned up the dining room together. Jeff picked up the rest of the soju and took another drink. Rex drinks with him and ends up blushing after one glass, but he thought it was really good the way it was now. Even now, he and Jeff had poked and prodded that window, but in fact, both of them have moved closer to each other unannounced. Rex, in particular, has broken a lot of conventions for Jeff. How can someone with stage fright be comfortable performing on stage? The company needs Rex to cook in front of everyone. On the day of the event, Jeff was having a hard time with it too, but he mentioned it to Rex. Rex reacts as expected, leaving angry and not answering his phone calls or texts. It wasn't until Jeff messaged him in the middle of the night that he was hungry that Rex rushed over to Jeff's house to bring him a snack. After the two Saturday down, he confessed to Jeff why he didn't want to go on stage because he suffers from stage fright. His head goes blank whenever he goes on stage. He also told him, in passing, the reason why he had just begun to hate alcohol. Rex grew up with his grandmother, who owned a fried rice cake store. It's the same store Jeff was looking for when we first met. In order to put herself through school and give herself a good life, Grandma has been selling alcohol at the store. It makes Rex feel like it's his fault that Grandma is having such a hard time. Then on the first day of college, his grandmother even had an accident while drunk, making him resent things like alcohol even more. Jeff knows there's nothing he can do to change what happened before. But now that he was by his side, he was sure to be happy in the future. To get him over his stage fright, Jeff then suggested that he think of something happy. Rex also decided to oblige the company. The next day was event day. Jeff's work at the restaurant was over for the day. So Rex decided to take everyone out for some good food. Jeff offers a secret grill. And when the food comes up, Rex grills the meat. The other fried him. Vic and the agent continue to be sweet in front of everyone. After three rounds of drinks, Jeff goes out the door to get some air and Rex follows him out. He was still nervous at the thought of the event being tomorrow. Jeff was curious as to what he'd be thinking about happily, and in the end didn't press the issue. At the event, Rex was physically nervous. On the day of the shochu event, Rex was dressed to impress, but couldn't say a word when he got on stage. The three men on stage were nervous for him. It wasn't until Rex saw Jeff, who was waving at him, that the expression on his face gradually relaxed. He methodically prepared the dish, and then proceeded to introduce it to everyone. It made it impossible to see that he was nervous or scared at all. After the event, as a thank you to Rex, the company representative gave everyone a card for dinner. The five went back to the grill. While everyone was drinking and eating, Rex and Jeff went outside to get some more air. Jeff asks him what he was thinking on stage and Rex doesn't tell him. He was saddened at the thought of working with Jeff. After it was over as of today, Jeff can't help but kiss Rex in the face and reacts by apologizing awkwardly. Rex obediently yanked him close to him, telling him what he was thinking on stage. After the barbecue, they made plans to get together the next weekend. Vic. H&M will then left, leaving Rex and Jeff. Jeff's hungry again because of the wine, so Rex set to go over to Jeff's house and cook him some noodles. As soon as we arrived home, Jeff literally pulled out the pot and prepared to cook the instant noodles. Rex looks surprised and asks if he's really going to eat the noodles. It took Jeff a moment to react to what he meant, and then they started cooking the bubbly. By the end of the week, everyone had coincidentally brought fried chicken, so we all had a whole chicken dinner. The agent comes clean with everyone about dating Vic but they didn't need to be told about it. The other three had seen it coming. After finishing their fried chicken, they went to the top floor to renew their booths, and Rex and Jeff went up the stairs ahead of them. The two hand formally confessed their love to each other yet, and Jeff was the first to do so. That's what the other three came across when they came up, lamenting the birth of the second couple out of five. Will couldn't look away. He was in the middle of them, not a light bulb, a squeezed sandwich. He was just screaming to go when a young man came over. He's the new waiter at the restaurant. Will saw him and his body which had been about to get up and leave. Saturday down silently. It looks like the fives are going to become sixes and couples are going to increase from two to three teams. Such beautiful love, such mutual redemption, really never fades, does it?